What's going on everybody? Back again with another video. I got another roll of walking liberties that we need to look through and look for better dates to see what we got. You never know when you're gonna uh, find a 1921 or something better. And let's go ahead and dump these out. I do have them all facing the same way. I have not looked at the dates. So let's see if we got anything good. All right, first one up is a 1943. That is a Philly. That's going to be a common year. I don't even need to look that one up. Pretty decent. Next one is a 1936. All right, a little bit older. That's awesome. Let's see if it's got a mint. It does have a mint. That has a Denver mint, 1936D. Let's look that one up in the book. Uh, 36D would be 4 million. So fairly common, starting to get, starting to get a little bit harder to find. Then we have a 39, uh, not too bad a shape either. And that is a Denver as well. 39 Denver. Let's check that one. 4 million again. All right. So not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, 34. 1934. And that is going to be a Denver. 1934 Denver. That ought to be decent, I think. 2,300,000. So a little bit better uh, mintage on that one. That's fairly low mint. That's going to be a harder one to get. I'll set that one aside. Then we have a 1937. Lots of 30s in these. All right. 37, I think, is a fairly good one. Uh, 38 is a little bit better. Let's see. 37P. That's probably common. Yeah, nine million, uh, fairly common coin. Up next, we have a 1946. Uh, these are actually probably right around, I think this one's right around four million. Uh, 46 and 47 are a little bit harder uh, to get. Those are the final two years. 1940, uh, this one's gonna be a common year. That one is, it looks like a San Francisco. Yeah, S, that's an S mint mark. We'll look it up just in case. Uh, 40 S. Yeah, 4.5. So it's a little, getting a little more a little more common there. There's a 44. That one I don't need to look up. I know for sure that is a common year. Uh, again, that's another common year, 42. All right. What else? 44, another common year. Ooh, look at that. 1920. 1920. And that's a nice one, guys. Look at the date on that. That's a very nice, crisp date on that. That's a clear date with a lot of meat on the bones there. And let's look guys, I see a mint mark. That's an S mint mark, 1920S. That's gonna be a decent coin. I think that's gonna be a decent coin, let's look. Uh, 1920, I think that's gonna be closer to like 2 million. 1920S, oh no, it's 4 million. Oh, if it was the 20D, it was 2 million. So again, uh, but look, I mean, even in low grades, it's it's a higher dollar, higher dollar coin. It's still harder to get. All right, 1944 common year, 1937 Philly. Uh, I think we already looked that one up. Another 1920, another 1920, guys. Look at that. And this one, oh, and this one's a Philly. This one was a Philly, which is a uh, six million, so fairly common. That other one was way nicer. 42, that's a common year. 41 is a common year. 43 is a common year. 43, common year. 46, you're starting to get into better dates, 46 and 47. But that one is pretty worn. That one's pretty worn for a later one. And the last one was a 41, fairly common year. So we got a couple decent ones. We got that 34. And then this one right here, I love this coin. I feel like this is the coin of the uh, the group here because that's a really nice crystal clear date, uh, pr pretty good details, and that would be great for a starter coin in a book. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. Happy hunting.